Now, there are four different type of sets. The first one being an empty set. The second is a singleton set. The third being the finite set. And the fourth being the infinite set. The name itself is a definition of these sets. The first one is an empty set, which does not contain any element. The second is a singleton set, which contains just one element. Third is a finite set, which contains finite number of elements, which can be counted. Whereas the last one is an infinite set, which contains the elements which are uncountable. Okay, infinite number of elements. So let us take a few examples to understand the types of sets in a better way. Now the first set A contains x such that 3x minus 1 is equal to 2. Now in this set there is an equation which is given and hence we need to solve that equation to get the value of x. Okay, so the equation is 3x minus 1 is equal to 2. If you take minus 1 on the right hand side it will become plus 1. Okay, so I will get 3x is equal to 3. And as 3 is in the multiplication in the left hand side, if I bring it on the right hand side, it will go in the division. Hence, the value of x is 1. And so, set A contains the element 1. Now, as A contains just one element, this type of set is called as a singleton set. Okay, let's take another example. Set B contains x such that x belongs to natural numbers and x is less than 4. Now you know what are natural numbers. The natural number starts from 1 and goes on till infinity, right? 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So out of these natural numbers, which are the numbers which are less than 4? These are just 3 numbers. There are just 3 numbers. 1, 2 and 3. Okay. So B contains these 3 numbers. And which type of set is it? It's a finite set, okay? It contains a finite number of elements and it is a finite set. Again, let's look at one more example. Set C contains X such that X belongs to natural numbers and X is less than 2. Now, natural numbers less than 2. There is just one natural number which is less than 2, which is 1 itself. Hence, C will contain just 1. And which type of set is this? It is a singleton set. Now, if you look carefully at set A and set C, they both contain the same elements, right? 1. Hence, both these elements can be said to be equal sets. Okay. So, what are equal sets? The sets which contain the same elements are called as equal sets. Now, we'll look at a few more examples. We'll read out this example. Set B contains X such that X is a natural number, but it is neither prime nor composite. Okay, which are the prime numbers which are not divisible by any numbers, right? They are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 and so on. What are the composite numbers which are divisible by other numbers? For example, we have 4, 6, 8, 9, 10 and so on. Now, which are the natural numbers which is neither prime nor composite? There is just one number which is neither prime nor composite and that is 1. So set B contains 1 and as it has just one element, it is a singleton set. Okay. Now the next example set A contains small letter A such that A is a natural number smaller than 0. Now natural number starts from 1. So none of the natural number is actually less than 0, right? So there is no natural number which is smaller than 0 and hence a does not contain any element. So A can be termed as an empty set. Remember the empty set is denoted by an Greek alphabet phi or we can denote it by brackets with no element in between. Okay. Next set B contains Y such that Y is smaller than minus 1 and Y is an integer. Integer contains the positive as well as negative numbers, right? The numbers which are smaller than minus 1. If you look at the number line, the numbers smaller than minus 1 are minus 2, minus 3 and so on. Okay. So, set B contains all these elements. Now, these elements are uncountable, right? The number will never end. Minus 10, minus 20, minus 40. It will go on till minus infinity. 
hence b is an infinite set